A new Halo Infinite event starts on the 29th, bringing some free customization for you to unlock. Season 5 looks to bring back a fan favorite PvE mode to Halo. And 343 is quietly cooking up something in the background. So if you want to know everything, make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So Halo Infinite's next event is going to be called Containment and it's going to be running from August 29th all the way to September 12th, which earns you some free customization for your hazmat core. Here's your typical 10 tier event pass for you to unlock items for your hazmat core. Here's the official artwork. It does seem a little interesting. Why are they carrying these packages? It seems like you have AI possibly following along with you wearing suits. It's kind of odd. Makes me wonder if they're hinting towards something new coming for this event. This also just could be cool artwork and they might just read use assets to create a new playlist like they did last time with week one they had arena unlimited and then they had btb unlimited for the last hazmat event so i wouldn't imagine anything too crazy happening i wouldn't imagine like some crazy new mechanics and things like that i will be live streaming the event on this channel when it does go live so make sure to follow the link in the pinned comment or description of this video to turn on your notifications when the stream does go live i play with viewers all the time when live streaming so if you ever want to play some halo with me that's the perfect time to do it now season five for Halo Infinite is looking to be rather interesting with this update. Now we do have its typical additions of two new maps and some Forge canvases, but there's a fan favorite PVE mode that's really excited coming back. But first, let's talk about the content that we know that's coming in. One is going to be a map called Forbidden, which is going to be kind of set in an ancient Forerunner temple. Rumor has it that this is going to either be a BTB map or an 8v8 map. So if it's a regular BTB map, it's going to be very tight and small, high action, but it doesn't look like there'll be any vehicles with it from the images that have been leaked online. This might be an infantry focused map. We'll definitely keep up to date whenever we get some more information on it. I'm sure many of you have heard about Crystal Caves, which has also now been renamed as Prism, which is supposed to be a Blamite mining facility where Blamite is actually the needler ammunition that they use for that weapon so it's gonna be kind of like a covenant theme map feel a little bit more alien like which is very needed for the map rotation here in halo infinite we've got a couple forge canvases coming in one called permafrost which is supposed to be kind of like a snowy wintry kind of environment and also barrage was going to be much more of a desert arid kind of area but the big addition coming in with season five is going to be firefight and three for three is looking to reuse an area from the campaign for it being the house of reckoning a lot of fans have been saying like just reuse that section and make it into a playable pve thing and now it looks like 343 is actually doing that this firefight also looks to come with a king of the hill mode with it which is gonna be very different from our traditional modes as firefight has really just been survive that's the main goal you know you might have some weapons maybe some vehicles come in but that's about it throwing in an objective in it is actually a rather new aspect when it comes to firefight for halo and personally i'm actually really interested in that and of course once we get some more information on it i'll share it with you guys here on the channel lastly it looks like 343 has started to recook something they put this item back in the microwave and starting to heat back up and that is tatanka we've seen some recent information come out there have been no updates about this leaked out mode that we've been following on the channel here for over a year now at this point some people thought it was completely scrapped some people thought development was still happening but just in the background we finally got our first bit of new tatanka information in over nine months and that's the presumed map variant for tatanka was recently updated people found out this information from the updated api for halo infinite and it looks like the reason why we haven't really heard a lot about tatanka Tonka for the longest time. I think really it's because 343 and Microsoft are trying to figure out what they want to do with Halo in the future. This kind of ties into the leaked information that we got from Jason Schreier in the early part of 2023 here, saying that they might be switching over to the Unreal Engine when it comes to this from the certain Affinity side of things, as they are the ones developing the, the Tatanka mode, and they're very familiar with the Unreal Engine. They're currently making a game in that engine as well. So could this be the first sign of Halo as a franchise starting to make that switch over to the Unreal Engine? Is the Tatanka mode be revitalized and reworked in another way because we have heard reports that originally it was supposed to be just a straight up battle royale then over time it's been developed into something a little bit different a new version of what could be a battle royale type mode and then we heard nothing for nine plus months and now we just got this information that they updated the map variant a lot of questions up in the air not a whole lot of answers but i just want to let you know something's happening in the background with this mode finally and of course once we know some more information about tatanka to containment event and also all all these season five leaks you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel 